familiar face here on my right side, Adam. Coach John Garrett, head coach of the Lafayette football team. John, great to have you here. Obviously, we corralled you. We got you for a couple minutes. I know recruiting's been uh, hot and heavy right now. Great to have you. Well, thanks so much. We're right in the middle of an official visit weekend. We got 10 great recruits on campus, and it's always nice to visit with you, Mike. Let's talk a little bit about last season. Let's reflect a little bit. What positives can you take from last season? Obviously not the wins, not the way you wanted to finish up, but there's got to be a lot to glean from there. Well, it is. We had three great wins, you know, two Patriot League road wins, which uh, hasn't happened around here a lot, and uh, and then the, the real good win against the uh, 2017 playoff team in Central Connecticut where we really uh, – it was just a great team effort. Uh, it was a great win. Uh, the offense was explosive. Defense held them. Uh, an NFL prospect, a quarterback, kept them in check. So uh, uh, those are three great positives. So really pleased with those three games. And uh, we were close in others. You know, we took Monmouth right down to the wire. And uh, just a couple plays can change things. So. Uh, we are just poised and motivated and ready to get going again next season. Exactly what we want to hear. Now let's talk a little bit about a position that just gets so emphasized, the quarterback position. What positives are you looking for going into spring ball? You know, we don't have to like Sean or anybody else, but just the, from that position, it's so focused and so focused on that, you know, obviously you got to get production out of that one, and that's one you're looking for for this spring, obviously. Yeah, so just to talk a little bit about last year, I mean, uh, the quarterback always gets too much credit when we win and then certainly too much blame when, when, when we lose. And, and that's always the case in football. And, that's, and, and it takes a special kid to play that position. And uh, uh, Sean has really come into a situation where here he is, a walk-on freshman quarterback, has to take over a team uh, that uh, in recent history hasn't done well. And uh, to earn that respect from the seniors and all that, that's hard to do. And he's really handled the situation very well. He had some... Some great bright spots his freshman year. He had some really good spots this year, particularly the, the Central Connecticut game where he was uh, uh, played a really well uh, in, in that game. And uh, uh, just needs to continue to work, yes. continue to be more consistent. And, you know, every year it's competitive. We're bringing in a, a quarterback that we believe is an eventual starter every year in recruiting. Uh, so this spring it'll be competitive between him, Cole Northrup, uh, Troy Fisher, and anybody who, who proves worthy. Let's talk about recruiting real quick. You're hot into the season right now. What's the message when you sit in a recruit's uh, uh, home right there in the living room with the parents? What's your message to get them or persuade them to become a leopard? Well, number one is the best is yet to come. We've made great strides since we got here. Uh, we got uh, we got six wins in two years, which is a lot more than they've had in the past years. Uh, uh, signature wins on the road in the Patriot League. Uh, beat a playoff team. So. We make we make progress, and uh, and we're going to continue to do so because we're really bringing in some good recruiting classes. Uh, this past freshman class uh, is one that uh, is going to have a lot of starters, future starters, and uh, as evidenced by Malik Ham being Rookie of the Year, uh, and and some other guys making significant contributions. So we're we're building something special here, uh, a program that's going to consistently compete for championships. Uh, and uh, it's going to continue with this recruiting class, and we're off to a great start. Well, that recruiting class you had last year, I had Malik on last week. Couldn't have been better. One of the best in the Patriot League. And it's reflected, John. You had nine guys on the Patriot League, all-league team. You had a great thing. Now, you and I are going to tease a little bit here next. A week from Wednesday, we're going to announce basically some early signees. That's got to be exciting. you got a couple in the pocket already. Yeah, we do. We're off to a good start. We have uh, six verbal commits. And... Uh, you know, this is an interesting time because here's this early signing day and uh, you always want to hold some scholarships back because there are some BCS quality players out there that 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 don't have a home. Yeah, guys that trickle down a little bit and you got to have those left. If you don't, sure. you, you miss out. Yeah, and, and we want to recruit those guys that are right on the cusp yeah. of being recruited by major colleges because those are the guys that make the impact. Uh, so we don't want to fill up early because that means we're recruiting guys that are just satisfied with playing in the Patriot League, and, and we want guys that are extra special. Uh, so uh, we'll, we have some really good ones committed already, and we're looking forward to finishing off this class really well. And you proved that, John. So thank you for a couple minutes. Again, next week from Wednesday, we're going to do the early signing show. John and I will be on together. Mutt and Jeff here doing a, doing a job showing you all the kids that are coming to Lafayette Hill. Thanks for a couple minutes, Joe Coach. Really appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Mike. Go Leopards. <laughs> Go Leopards. Back to you, Adam.
Thanks.